Hi, this is Ari from FilterBox. We just released a new version of the G2 dashboard and wanted to share some details about what's in this release. So first you may notice that the dashboard looks a little bit different. We've added this summary view that allows you to create new filters and drop them into any of your existing folders or create a new folder from here as well. Something I'm excited about is this table that shows the top 10 most active filters. It's very similar to the table that's in the daily briefing emails. This one's interactive, so if you see something that's trending that's got a lot of activity, you can click on it and drill down and look at all the content for that folder. So now that we're here, uh, the big news in this release is that we've got seven distinct media types that are now supported. So we've been working hard to add support for over a million forums that are being indexed by FilterBox. We've got support for comments, video, and images. We're now directly searching YouTube and pulling in content from Flickr and lots of other places as well. We're also pulling in Facebook data. So if you look at social networks, you'll start to see Facebook data in addition to Twitter and FriendFeed show up in the system. We've also extended the content source control for each filter. So on the left side here, you can notice that we've got the ability to turn on or off news, blogs, social networks, forums, images, video, or comments. So the seven distinct media types are available for control in the filter, in the display, and then also in analytics. So if we jump over to analytics now, and let's say we take a look at my cars folder, and we look at the source analysis, you'll see that there's uh, mainstream news, there's blogs, there's social media, there's a little bit of content in, in my account here for, vi for video. You can click on all of these charts and drill down and look at the exact content. You can also right click and take action on the folders as you always did. Another new feature in this release is the ability to look at web metrics for any given URL. So let's take an exam he example here and pick a domain, the truth about cars for example. I can click on domain stats and I can look at the Alexa, Compete, or Quantcast data for that domain. That's all integrated, uh, just click on the domain stats in the dashboard. So we hope you enjoy these new features and if you have any questions get in touch with us via Twitter or directly via support. Thank you very much.